Viewers, what is up? I'm Liquid, and I'm playing on the Map Express, trying to play some League, and of course my whole entire team backs out and leaves me, and it was kind of depressing because I really wanted to play some League, and this was the second game I was going to play today, and well, I was just trying to have some fun and enjoy the game and run into some douchebags. So, you know, I understand that Pubs and competitive is a completely different world because, I mean, I used to play competitive a little bit back in Black Ops 1. However, the community is still the same shit. And, well, whenever guys want to be dicks, I want to be dicks as well. So I go find a corner and, of course, a lot of times passed. And I decided, well, you know what? I'm going to make them pay for being douchebags. So pretty much I laid around the map and screwed around for a little bit of the part of the game. And, well, that kind of pissed them off a little bit, and, of course, I got a lot of feedback from them. And, of course, the Cat 40, by the way, is nasty. People get destroyed by my Cat 40. So, of course, I'm going to let you kind of hear a little of their comments, and, of course, a lot of it's pretty much go back to pubs, you freaking fag, and all those kind of gay comments. So, yeah, guys don't like you to come into their world because I guess they're threatened by a pub star. I don't know what it is, but these two guys get wrecked, and, of course, you'll be able to listen to what they say. Pub. So, of course, he's not too happy and he thinks I should play pubs, apparently, because a lot of people have realized that I'm a pub star from Twitch. And yes, I do play pubs. I enjoy pubs, and, you know, why not? It's a great source of, you know, a, I guess, outlet of just playing and not trying too hard. And I was trying to screw around with these guys, so I grabbed flags and tried to run around, and it was, you could just tell it was agitating them because they really wanted to play and they did not want to play against some random pub star, especially a 1v4. So, of course, I am going to fast forward some more. But I'm pretty much continuing the screw around. And, yeah, they're not liking it. They're trying to run flags consecutively, which is kind of sad. I mean, they're already up. You'd think they would just give up and just wait the time out. But, no, they want to be douchebags and try to run flags. I'm going to be a douchebag and completely kill them as they try to run flags. And they just could not hit me. I just kept juking in and out and running around on them. So it was really funny. And they was trying to say that, oh, yeah, we wasn't trying at all. Okay, yeah, I wasn't trying at all, screwing around too. And I know that they were screwing around a little bit as well. But you would think if you don't want to have, you know, somebody talk shit to you, you think you would try to completely destroy them. You, uh, you lost that round, but it's not over yet. Get ready Back for the Back to pubs, queer! <laughs> Capture the flag. Sorry, of course, I had to kind of hold my thoughts there for a little bit because I had to let you listen in on a little bit more of their stupidity and opinions. So, yeah, these guys are really big dicks, and all I'm saying is... Whenever you're trying to grow a scene such as competitive, having people like this in your community makes it really bad because honestly the competitive scene is not a bad place to be. However, compared to like all the other ones like StarCraft and a few others, this community really sucks in the competitive world. So, you know, what is the big argument between, of course, pubs and competitive players? I don't quite get it. I don't know why. I mean, competitive players, yes, they are good. Don't get me wrong. Pub stars are really good as well. Yes, it is two different game formats. However, you gotta think. You can talk shit all you want, but just because somebody plays a different game mode than you does not mean they're not good at the game. So it's just kind of like one of those things that you need to think about a little bit of why do we do this to each other? I have no clue. People are just trying to be douchebags, I guess. I have no clue. It's the same kind of crap that happens across Halo to Call of Duty to Battlefield. You'll hear Call of Duty players say, oh, Battlefield sucks, or Battlefield players will say Call of Duty is the worst. You'll see a bunch of 10-year-olds, and it's a lot of the truth. However, I don't understand why we're doing it within the same community. You know, that was what really destroyed the Gears community from one of my friends, what he said, because um, he actually used to play competitive for Gears, and he always said that was the biggest thing. Whenever you have competitive players talking this much shit to the pub players, then, you know, the community breaks and basically you don't have any fans because, honestly, the pub side of things is your fan base. And if you can't bring them over to the competitive side as far as fans, then you don't have much of a fan base, which equals not a lot of payouts, which means you don't have a lot of advertisers for the events, and therefore you will not have anything to compete in. And that's why Gears kind of fell apart, in my opinion, of course. And same thing with Halo. Halo was good, and they had things working really well, but they kind of fell apart because of a few things. Now, theirs was more game-related, 
and Gears was a little bit of game related crap as well, but it's just really stupid how, you know, they kind of destroying the, I guess, stigma of competitive players, and they're not even competitive players, they're trying to be, but they're not. They're no pro, they're no proofy, they're no Rambo, they're no nade shot, and they basically shows in just them being as big of douchebags as they are. Yeah, of course, those pros can be douchebags. However, they're usually only that whenever you are that to them. If you don't, you know, basically show them, I guess, somewhat, I guess, respect, I guess, that they kind of earn because they're who they are, then, of course, they're going to talk shit to you all day, and then they're going to completely slap you. That's a big difference between the competitive side and guys that are actually pro and the guys that want to be pro and think they are and think they run the community and they don't do shit. They're the GB stars. I'm not a fan of the GB stars, but that's just, you know, one side of the, I guess, world. However, anyways, hopefully, yeah, we find a little sense of, I guess, balance between the two. And, yeah, I just feel like talking random crap about this because... It's just something that's always bothered me. This has been like this since COD 4, and everything since then has been that way. So it'd be great if we could see a change in the community, but we know it will never happen. People will always talk shit, and the guys that want to be at the top or are jealous of something somebody else has done will always talk shit. I mean, I see it every day, uh, even between the streamers. It's like, oh my god, well, why are they doing this? They're pulling this many viewers because they're doing that? And the same thing with a twerking sensation. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, they're twerking. That's awesome. Let's, you know, money hoard up or let's view hoard up just because we can shake our ass and we're girls or whatever. You know, that side of the things, yes, people do talk shit because they're jealous of people's viewers and everything else. I could care less. I mean, yes, I'm not going to lie. I love all my awesome viewers, but I'm not going to fight over you. If you watch my stuff, that's great. If not, good. Go watch something else. It's all what you want to do. It's whatever entertains you. But the thing at the end of the day is it's an open market, and, you know, people just don't like to share the market. And I don't know if they don't. I guess they might not have YouTubes themselves or whatever they might not have, but they are jealous of something, whether it is that they're not pro and... I'm closer to that than they are. I'm not saying I'm pro at all because I don't play competitive, but I have some, I guess, f somewhat fans. I don't really like to call you fans, though. You know, you're my viewers. F fans, eh, I don't like to look at it like that. But I don't know what it is, and it could be something completely different, and you're just thrown in the mix. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling on. So, of course, that's about time for the video to be ended. So hopefully you enjoyed this little, you know, um... Pub Star versus Pro 1v4, not too bad. And of course, I'll leave you some words with them, but until next time, I'm Liquid and I'm out. Dude, go play Ground War.